Hello, I am Crystal Day, an international empowerment coach, best-selling author of the book Living a Royal Reality, motivational speaker and minister of the gospel. I am so excited that you decided to join me on this journey, a 30-day coaching program for the woman that is intentional about becoming the woman after God's own heart. In this program, we will be looking at how we can get more focus on becoming the woman that God has called us to be. We'll look at how we can face the different giants in our lives. We'll look at overcoming rejection, overcoming distraction, and just look at serving the person that God has called you to serve to make an impact in this world. This coaching program was placed on my heart based on the continuous messages and emails that I've received from women all over the world, you know, asking Crystal, how can I deepen my relationship with God? So a part of this program, you will be placed in a private Facebook group with women all over the world who will keep you accountable and to encourage you on this walk. So as a part of this program, you will receive email prompts, you will receive audios, you will receive prayers in your inbox so I want you to look out for these now again before we start I want you to know that being a woman after God's heart starts with an intention it starts with the desire now woman of God do you desire to do this I want you to commit yourself to these 30 days Because I really do believe that your life will change if you follow and do your journal prompts I know that if you are committed to this coaching program, that you will yield maximum results. Now today, I want to start with a heart of worship, because at the end of the day, this is what our life is about, worshiping the amazing God that we serve. Now what is worship? Worship is an intense admiration and devotion to God. Worship is an act of loving God individually and authentically it's intimately communicating with the living God it's losing yourself in his presence now when we think of worship we automatically think of the singing soft songs or serving on ministries but these are expressions of our worship woman of God I want you to know that true worship is a heart condition It is an extreme submission to the Lord God Almighty. But here's a problem with submission. It doesn't come easily. An amazing definition of true worship is found in Romans 12 verse 1. And it says, Offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And this is your spiritual act of worship. This means when we truly sacrifice our own plans, desires, dreams, and selfish ambitions and start pursuing God's desires, we start to truly worship God and our lives cannot be the same. You worship God through your thoughts, how you speak, how you dress, how you serve, how you use your gifts and talents, and how much time you spend with Him. Now I want you to reflect on these questions. Why are you a Christian? Or why are you not a Christian? If God decided not to bless you, would you still worship him? If you lost everything and you were left with nothing at all, would you serve God or would you curse God? No, we have been looking at the life of David But when I thought about worship, Job came to mind. Now, we know the story of Job. He lost everything. God God trust Job and he allowed the enemy to take everything from him. But it's interesting because Job won 20 after Job lost his, his, his riches, his family, his children. His livelihood, he was struck down with illness. The word of God says, Job fell and worshiped God. Now, this woman of God 
is a heart of worship. Job recognized God is sovereign. He recognized that God's rule over all creation. God never changes, so nothing we are going through affects his awesomeness. Our worship is not because of what God has done, but because of who he is. We worship God in spirit and in truth, as the word declares. We cannot understand the magnitude of God's love, God's goodness, God's grace, or even God's decisions. And if we could, then he wouldn't be God. But are we ready? Are we surrendered to God's will for her, our lives? I want you to look at what are your distractions? What are your idols? What is causing you from totally surrendering to God's call on your life? Worship is not about me feeling good. It's about God feeling good. Worship takes the focus off us and direct it to God. Worship gives us the opportunity to view the world through God's eyes and from God's perspective. Worship is not a Sunday or Saturday routine. It's a lifestyle of constantly growing, submitting, obeying, hearing, and becoming in God. My worship to God is everything that I am, responding to everything that God is to me. And I want to repeat, your worship to God is everything that you are, responding to everything that God is to you. Now look at the life of David. We see David has a true passion for God. David loved God and longed for God daily. Are you passionate about God? Are you passionate about the things of God? Psalms 42, verse 1 to 2, you see a vivid picture of David's passion for God, where he said, has a deer panted for the water, so his soul longs for the presence of God. Woman of God, where is your passion? Is it for God? Is it for the things of God? David, complete life was submitted to God and to God's purpose. David worshiped God wholeheartedly and not half-heartedly. So his total focus, his total devotion, his total commitment was to the Most High God. So as we commence this 30-day challenge, I pray that you will be open to the moving of the Holy Spirit in your life. I pray that you will be honest, you will be vulnerable, you will be authentic with learning about the things of God. Some things might challenge you, but that's good because God wants to do a new thing in you. So as we continue on this journey, invite a friend to join. It's not too late. Keep yourself committed to this. Ensure that you complete it. Because I know after the 30 days, your life won't be the same. I love you, and God loves you too. Thank you.